What's going on, guys? I hope you guys are well and warm. Kicking it fly today. Got something special for you. Wanted to have a conversation in regards to THC and THCA. You've probably seen a plethora of advertisements and posts by some influencers online pushing THCA in areas throughout the states where THC and our plant are not legal. And some are asking, how is this possible? How can we still get this product where this product is illegal? Well, online, on my X account, you can follow me at Pigeons420. I've got a video here by Grayway over on X. I encourage you to go follow him. He's got a ton of great videos, garden tips, plant videos that you will enjoy. Today, he dives into THCA, the problems with it, and gives a good, clear explanation as to why many of us are getting the wool pulled over our eyes in regards to influencers selling this product. So rather than plagiarizing his entire work, I'll let Grayway explain it himself. The reason that this gives me the red ass in so many terms, so many words, is because I'm a legacy grower. I've been at this for decades, man. I got skin in the game. And I'm not here to say I'm better than anybody else. I don't think that. I think I'm a mediocre grower at best. I'm lazy as fuck. I grow organically. I try to do this as simply as possible. I ain't gonna lie to you. I grow some dank, though. There was a time, though, when it was a real serious thing for me um, because it was about the money. I ain't gonna lie to you. It ain't now. I'm about the culture. You know, I grew up, and I understand a lot of people might not have. Um, and I'm not trying to insult anybody. I want to make that real clear. I'm just trying to clarify my position on this. So I want to make this real clear. My argument is not whether or not THCA converts to THC. That's not a fucking argument. Everybody knows that. And if you don't know that, you got some fucking learning to do. We're talking about legal, legal THCA versus actual cannabis here. And, and the, here's the thing, it's a lie. I don't care what you say, it's a fucking lie. And it's either one or two lies that you're being told. Because if it's legal, then it's only 0.3 after it's been decarbed. And if that's not the case, then you got sold an illegal product under the guise of it being legal. And that's a fucking lie. And I get it, man. I used to smoke swag weed back in the day because it's all we could fucking get. Mexican brick, it was terrible. It was terrible. But the problem with the fucking lie is the same problem with that shit. You know what the you were smoking, man. You know, if they're willing to lie to you and tell you that they're selling you a legal product, but it's not legal, then what the fuck is it? Just like this lawsuit in Georgia now. And I'm not going to get it too much into that because I don't know all the facts and I'm not involved. But the allegations are it's full of heavy metals. It's not, it's actual fucking real cannabis product. It's not legal. All this shit. So that's a fucking problem because you're being lied to, man. That's big pharma. That's what Pfizer does, man. That's not the cannabis community vibe. That's why it gives me a red ass. I'm not hating on those products, man. They have their f***ing place. Just tell us the truth. You gotta be honest, man. You can't be f***ing lying and selling me some shit and stuffing your goddamn pockets full of money pretending like you care about the cannabis community. And that brings me to the point. That's why I have a problem with this Deuce motherfucker. This dude is an influencer, plain and simple. I don't care what he says. He got contacted to push a product. He got paid to tell you what he fucking thought. I'm not saying he lied. On that, I'm saying this was a fucking paid thing. Where the lie comes in, why I call bullshit, and I say he's full of shit, is because this dude claims I'm a grower and a smoker. Well, if that's the truth, you ain't got no use for that shit. Someone paid you to do that. Paid you for a good review. And let's be clear about something here, man. I got a couple friends that actually are brand managers. They get deals for influencers just like you. I know how this game works. I know the f truth of it. I've been contacted a lot. A lot of us here on X have, especially ones who grow good and share positive vibes. And that's another thing I'm gonna say. Y'all see my post. I don't get into arguments with people. I don't start shit. I try to love everybody, man. I'm about the vibe. That's why this is a problem because this is not the cannabis community vibe. Don't go around lying to people. Don't go around shilling shit. Don't go around hustling. What are the odds that this deuce of motherfucker drops this video at the same time that this same product is circling around X because of FL Dad's review or whoever posted it first that showed some four-year-old bullshit that was garbage? Come on, man. That's a fucking coincidence? I don't think so. Motherfucker, I'm not saying you made a glass, but you're pretty see-through. That's all I'm saying. So that, that's my point of view on all this, guys. I know it's a rant. And I know I'm probably seeming a little heated. I'm about to hit this blunt again and calm my happy ass down and get back to looking at my plants. But 
I wanted to share that with you guys because that's how I feel about it and that's my argument. That's the lie. You're either being lied to that your 0.3% THCA product is just as good or you're being lied to and sold a f***ing illegal product under the guise that it's legal and it might be laced with and who knows what kind of heavy metals or pesticides or what the fuck ever. If they're willing to lie to you about one thing, they're willing to lie to you about anything. Think that through. That's my position. That's what's gotten me in this argument. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody. If you don't like my position, you're fucking free to leave. I'm not here for followers. Y'all never see me post my fucking engagements or none of that shit. I'm not here for that. I'm here to vibe with this community. That's it. That's all. Man, y'all have a great night. Burn one with me. Enjoy the view. Do your thing. If you want to use that stuff, use that stuff. I'm not hating on you, man. I'm not. I just want you to be educated. I want you to be informed, and I don't want you hurt. I want the cannabis community to vibe, and I don't want it taken over by Big Pharma. And I am going to say this one last thing. If this was so real, the big boys like Humboldt Seed Company wouldn't be spending all their money in triploid technology. They'd be using this loophole, but they're not. Wonder why. Think it through, folks. Until next time. Gray way out. So there's a lot to unpack there. I really appreciate what Grayway had to say. I think he brings up some very valid points. It's mainly kids, let's face it, that's buying these products. So I asked the question to you. What do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Is this a hot take or is it an accurate one? I want to hear from you. Much love, guys. Peace out. It started a huge shout out to Spider Farmer. Today's episode is brought to you by the SF1000, Spider Farmer's latest release. If you're on a budget and you're looking for a great budget friendly light, consider the SF1000. For less than $100, you can get a powerful light for a 2x2 two two flower coverage or a 3x3 three three veg tent. The SF1000 is introducing the Samsung LM301H Evo LEDs, boasting an impressive efficacy rate of 3.14 micromoles per joule per diode. These LEDs outshine even the renowned LM301Bs, the LM301Hs, and the Bridgelux 3030 chip. If you're looking for one of these lights, go to spider-farmer.com, use promo code PIGEONS420, save yourself a few dollars off at checkout, and get yourself some great budget-friendly, high-quality gear. And of course, this stream is also brought to you by AC infinity ac infinity has got a quality name when it comes to products for your garden whether it's an inline fan or the controller pro 69 they've got you covered they've got a controller that's going to communicate between all of their devices from the humidifier to the clip-on fans regulate everything accurately with the controller pro 69 if you go to acinfinity.com use promo code pigeons 420 you can get some quality equipment for a quality price. Get the equipment that your plants are going to need and grow some incredible dank. Thank you, AC Infinity, for sponsoring today's live stream.